Hey there, my name is Davide Perino and this is a video where I'll show you the technology behind the demo that you just saw. Um, if you haven't watched that, uh, I suggest you to watch the previous video that uh, I'll post on the forum um, so that uh, you can see everything. So, um, here uh, we can see the evolution of, uh, of my moving elevator. This is the final version. And for example, this was the prototype, and uh, yeah, it, it it was a mess every time. Yeah, also also this was a mess. <laughs> okay, sorry, and um, and yes, it was very imprecise. Yeah, there was the physics on, and it was a thing that I loved. Um, while the new version doesn't have uh, nothing nothing type of physics. In fact, that was the problem. If the physics is active, um, it's more probable that can happen something like uh, like the or the wet guy over there. And um, okay, um, on this side we have uh, my test with the AI. And okay, um, I've done a lot of tests uh, on my own. Um, Try to create something. Uh, this was the best that uh, I was able to do, uh, at least with the time that I had, um, because um, I tried to do mostly on my own without relying too much on uh, online videos. And my biggest problem was that uh, the university, uh, I mean the course, uh, um, didn't had, for example, like in other tasks, uh, um, I don't know, maybe a video that show me how to do something. Um, I also had the, had the same problem with the animation, uh, but uh, on that side I was able to um, do more stuff. But uh, okay, let's talk about the models. And um, if you notice, this red one guy is constantly following me, uh, while the green one is a sort of average. Uh, he basically tends to wander around if there isn't uh, nobody to follow, and uh, it also can track uh, um, near. Um, characters if uh, it pass uh, near them and uh, the blue one instead tends to run away uh, so if I get close from this side he should run away right now why he's not running let's reset quickly okay play from here okay sorry okay now it's working um, yeah, the AI was very complex. I also tried to implement it, for example, on this shooting robot here, uh, so that he was able to follow you. Um, I wanted to implement it in the final demo, but uh, um, I couldn't figure out a sort of uh, uh, bug that uh, was constantly keeping this character steady. Uh, it wasn't the physics, um, it was about the controller, probably, and also the activation of the intelligence because it started that uh, it was following me but if I take his um, his body and then came back to my character um, he was he would have stayed still like uh, is now um, so yeah and um, okay here there is the moving elevator here there is an example of this this stupid uh, thing with the collision just to help me separate it the um, the character in the levels. Uh, if you watch the video you saw in that direction there was this uh, enigma with uh, two walls, uh, one orange that the player couldn't cross uh, and a green one that the uh, other character couldn't cross. And this thing does this. Yeah, I bought an harmonic and uh, I didn't know how to play it, I just know how to do the skills, so yeah. <laughs> And um, okay, the moving elevator you can use it in a bunch of ways, but mostly to reach high places, like for example, this corner right here. If we combine the elevators, we can reach higher places, like that. And uh, here, um, I can show you why I created this blue one because originally. Um, I was fine with these two uh, type platforms, but uh, if, for example, if for example I charge my battery, I reach this position 
and I place the battery to connect the thing. So far so good. What happens if I stand here and I come back to my battery? Let's wait, uh, let the energy finish. Okay, it's working. It makes sense. But what happens if I repossess my character? Boom. I don't know why uh, I finish inside the, the model. Um, I really don't know what to say about this one. Okay, now, now I was able to live. And uh, if you saw also the video, um, in that area there was exactly that uh, uh, thing right there, or it was just a bit on the left, uh, that uh, raised a battery. Um, if you saw the video, um, the battery uh, wasn't starting from the normal height of this thing, but it was like uh, a couple of meters above, and without luckily go through the walls. But somehow uh, the collisions were like, uh, I don't know, counting something I, I don't know I I haven't slept in this sorry <laughs> um, okay here we can instead see ah, a quick test of the death um, which uses um, for example a, an event dispatcher um, so if I charge here and I turn this thing on our poor hacker just dies like that then it's not possible to do nothing, we have to wait a couple seconds, and now we can just go. Hey, I did it again. Yeah, I, I'm smart, sorry. <laughs> it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't, uh, okay. Um, and um, yeah, here we have also the shooting robot with uh, this improved uh, visual feedback that is on. If I grab these bullets, I can now... Oh. What happened? Uh, maybe there is a collision with this thing here, maybe. Oh no, the battery. Okay. There wasn't energy. Duh. <laughs> At this point, I, didn't, I didn't connect this one. But yeah, basically, um, this blueprint, like basically also every socket, um, uses, uh, for example, uh, let me show you, there should be, yeah, here there is the first uh, um, interface and there is also this other interface, okay, this one is for activate objects, so like uh, uh, on and this cubes goes forward, or for example here uh, on and this thing opens, or for example, yeah, um, this robot here on and you can shoot the ammunition inside. Um, and also same speech for off when the energy is not present. And here also there is another interface that I did later uh, to implement Thesic uh, without uh, having to, um, without using an event tick inside every um, character. Because before there was a tick that was constantly checking if the character was possessed. But now when I leave the character or I go inside another one, there is this um, very nice thing that uh, just say to the model hey you need to turn on the physic or disable it and um, here there is the demo of the um, of the i think it was week uh, 10 yeah it was it's working uh, here there is another tower i don't want to turn it on and um, I hope uh, I said everything, um, uh, if I have been a bit too dispersive, I'm sorry. Um, I read in the description that I hadn't to show you every blueprint uh, in this area, uh, just talk about stuff, I think. Uh, here there is um, the test of the, um, yeah, the test of the manager, um, a very identical that I used for the ending. And uh, here there are some... Uh, oh, I didn't show you this thing. Uh, you can see the current energy of the battery is 4, but if I grab this charge, the energy increases. No, now it's not increasing. Um, okay, I don't know why it haven't done it. Um, let me load it a bit. Again, play from here. Uh, what happens if I grab this battery? Current energy 1. What happens if I do this? 
Okay, it worked for five. Uh, I'm not sure why it isn't doing this, but uh, before it was working fine, I don't know. Um, yeah, mostly this is was my demo. Uh, I create a lot of assets that uh, yeah are very compatible between the others, like yeah the sockets uh, can activate this, uh, this, uh, uh, that this one can also activate this one. Um, yeah, if for example I play from here and I do this, and yeah, now it's active this panel. No, it's not working. What happens if I just do this? I'm not sure why now it's not working. It may be. Mm, let me quick think about it. I may have. Me, me, I think I have a bullet. Uh, um, let me check real quick this thing. Uh, there is no hacker. No, no, no. Okay, no, I may have not disabled it. Um, okay, trust me when I say that it was working. Uh, now I'm not sure why, but uh, it's not fundamental. I you can I can say that uh, it wasn't uh, on purpose this thing, uh, but since the system was so compatible and uses the same uh, on-off interface of this one, uh, that. Uh, tends to go up uh, by this thing here. Um, it was already working and so I just left it as it is. And, uh, okay, yeah, I, I think uh, I, I said uh, even more than enough. Um, hopefully, uh, I'm very sorry for the AI that I wasn't able to implement it on a live character. And also the event dispatcher, I used it a bit then but uh, it was very late in my project and I hadn't at the time. Um, I focused a bit more on the animations maybe, yes, to make them as smoothly as possible. And also, also the feedback and the visual system, and, uh, if you saw, there are a bunch of lights that change uh, depending on what is happening, like this one, also the robot. Uh, um, also the sound, yes, the sound uh, uh, feedbacks are, um, I think, where they should be. Um, okay, thanks very much for watching. Um, uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you, bye! <laughs>